Welcome to the main two, information risk management. Did you know that a soccer defines this domain as follows? Information risk management involves the systematic application of management policies, procedures, and practices to the task of identifying, analyzing, evaluating, reporting, and monitoring information-related risks. The ultimate goal of this domain is to define those elements that help the information security manager or system identify, manage information security risks. This is accomplished through an examination of risk management principles and practices. Greetings. My name is Jim Hollis and I am your subject matter expert for this particular course of instruction. Let's begin by first of all taking a look at the skills going to be measured in regards to this particular exam. Now what we're going to do during the course of this presentation is focus primarily upon domain two, dealing specifically with information risk management. Now this exam measures your ability to accomplish the technical tasks listed above. The percentage indicate the relative weight of each major topic area on the exam. The higher the percentage, the more questions you'll like to see on that content area on that exam. Now, this, as a future system candidate, you must have a thorough understanding of the task statements in order for you to master the system exam. Equally as important, the learning objective tasks are what a system is expected to be able to do. The tasks are related to the knowledge statements. As a future system, you must know what the core business of the organization is if you hope to demonstrate to executive management how information risk management can help to enable the business. So the first task that we want to take a look at is establish and maintain a process for information asset classification. So essentially what you're doing is you got to be able to classify again the asset before you get to the part of actually trying to figure out what the risk to that asset. So you need to first of all identify what the assets are, classify them. You need to have some means of measure by which to measure again what needs to be taken in order to protect those assets. Now your most important asset is people. But at the same time, they're your most critical risk or in terms of exposure to your organization. Identify legal, regulatory, organization, and other applicable requirements. In other words, we had to adhere to the various regulatory requirements, and we need to be able to manage that risk. And we also need to make sure we ensure compliance. And also, because the goal ultimately is to get that risk to what we can best be described as an acceptable level. The next task statement is to ensure the risk assessment, the vulnerability assessment. In other words, we're talking about looking at the weaknesses as well as the threat analysis are conducted consistently at appropriate times. And it really the goal is to identify and assess risk through the organization's information. We also need to identify, recommend, or implement appropriate risk treatment. In other words, we have to have various measures in place to deal with those various risks. Because the reality is this, we cannot totally eliminate all of the risks. What, what we did to look at, first of all, and when we're going through this process, is to first of all look at what our current state is. And the ultimate goal of this is to get to what we call a desired state in terms of risk. Then we need to determine whether infrastructure security controls are appropriate and effectively manage risk. Again, the goal is to an acceptable level because the reality is you cannot eliminate a risk. A risk is always present. There's other words, a risk is considered best to be described as a tolerable uncertainty. We also need to facilitate the integration of information risk management into the business practice. In other words, what we're going to do is make sure we align our practices with the business. In other words, if the goal of the business is to make widgets, we need to make sure that we align those various security mechanisms as well as risk management with the goal of ensuring that we're able to produce those widgets. We need to also monitor for internal external factors. Again, we have to constantly assess the, the threat landscape. We have to employ various techniques such as cybersecurity, uh, regulatory changes. These are things that can impact us again and present obviously a unique situation to us. So obviously in this case, it may require reassessment of the risk because the risk is an ongoing process. You're never going to get to the state in terms of risk where you're able to say, well, this is a life because the risks are constantly changing. The threats are constantly changing and becoming much more sophisticated as well. We also need to be able to uh, is to report non-compliance and other changes in the risk and information risk to facilitate risk management decision making processes. 
We need to ensure that the MFA security risk is reported to senior management to support the understanding of potential impact on the organization goals as well as its objectives. Now this brings us to again the knowledge statements in regards again to this particular domain. The first knowledge statement you need to have a knowledge of the legal, regulatory, organization and other requirements related to information security. We need also need to have a knowledge of reputable, reliable and timely source of information obviously regarding information security threats because again these threats are constantly evolving and they're becoming much more sophisticated. We need to have knowledge of events that may require risk assessment and changes to our information security program. Again, our ch program is never going to get to a point where we're going to be in a stagnant state because it's constantly changing. We need to have knowledge of information threats. Again, vulnerabilities or weaknesses and exposure, including cybersecurity and the evolving nature. Another knowledge state we need to have knowledge of risk assessment and analysis methodologies. Another thing we need to have is knowledge of methods used to prioritize our risk scenarios and risk treatment and response options as well. That brings us also to some additional knowledge statements and knowledge of the risk reporting requirements. In other words, frequency, audience, and content. These are again our knowledge statements. We need to have knowledge of the risk treatment response options. Again, obviously when you're dealing with risk, as I mentioned earlier, you cannot totally eliminate risk, but you can employ, you can either avoid, avoid the risk altogether, or you can perhaps take uh, employ techniques to mitigate the risk or perhaps because the cause of the risk to mitigate the risk again is so much that the risk that what you decided I'm going to accept the risk because it's a cost of doing business or you may decide to perhaps transfer the risk and one method by which you can transfer a risk is through insurance. We need to have knowledge of control baselines and standards and relationship to the risk assessment as well. We also need to have knowledge of information security controls as well as the methods to analyze again their effectiveness. So again, we're never going to get to a point in time where we're able to say, hey, this is a life. Because again, we have to constantly again periodically conduct what we call our risk assessment to determine whether or not those controls that perhaps that we employ are working effectively as well as efficiently. We need to have knowledge of gap analysis. When you think about a gap, a gap is a, a currently looking at your current state. And then you look at your desired state there. And when you're looking at that and analyzing that, you may determine, hey, I have a gap. And so what you need to do is find a way, an effective way to somehow what bridge that gap or perhaps mitigate or minimize the exposure as much as possible. That brings us to some, again, additional knowledge statements is knowledge of the techniques for integrating information security risk management into the business and as well as the IT processes. And really, when you think about the IT processes need to align themselves with the business practice of the organization. That's the ultimate goal. We need to have knowledge of compliance reporting requirements as well as the various processes as well. We need to have knowledge of cost benefit analysis. So again, a lot of time we may find ourselves employing what we call the cost benefit analysis, where we evaluate and determine whether or not it's the cost, again, of trying to mitigate that risk, and whereas the benefit, it may be the cost outweigh the benefit. So we may, may employ a technique of accepting the risk because that's the only viable option. So let's take a look at the objectives for this particular, again, domain, and they are as follows. First of all, we're going to begin the process of, again, of defining or describing exactly what risk management fundamentals are. The next objective is risk management planning. Then we look at the concepts of risk assessment. Then we look at some key components, again, of risk assessment. Then we employ, look at a process or topic of strategies for mitigating risk. In other words, we're trying to find a process by which we what can minimize the impact of these various risks. And a risk, if you recall, is considered a tolerable uncertainty. In other words, it's always present. A risk can be altered. But again, a risk can never be totally eliminated. Then the last topic we're going to take a look at is called a risk registry. Again, I want to thank you very much for your attention to detail to this particular presentation. And again, with all that being said, let's get started.